Park Vista Community High School Class of 2022. Welcome to your senior year of high school. Who would have guessed that this is the path you would have taken to get to your final year of high school? The way the school year ended two years ago and has begun this year is not without its challenges. But your school counseling department wants you to know that you need to keep your eye on the prize. Whether your plan is to attend a four-year university, a community or state college, a career or vocational school, go into the military, or enter the workforce, we encourage you to use this year to make your plan become a reality. Each year, school counselors meet with seniors in small groups and individually to discuss plans, lay out timelines, present options, etc. This year will be a little different. Once you watch this presentation, your teacher will bring your class to the school counseling office for an individual meeting with your school counselor. It's important to review this presentation thoroughly and be ready with your questions for your counselor when you meet with them. Your counselor is also available to you in case you need any guidance, have any questions, need assistance, or want to discuss your options. Please feel free to contact your counselor via email or at the appropriate times to make this the best senior year it can be. We have prepared a packet full of important resources for you as you plan for your senior year and beyond. You will receive a printed copy when you meet with your counselor. You can also find it on our website under the School Counseling tab and then under Class of 2022. First in the packet is your senior checklist. This list contains items that are important to check off as the year progresses and provides links for items you may need. One important link is for the College Admissions Handbook. This contains every step necessary for the application process start to finish. It can be found under School Counseling and then under College Information. Another important resource is our Senior College Planning Workshop Series. Ms. Carlson will be hosting weekly workshops beginning September 14th at 3.30 p.m. These live workshops are open to both seniors and their parents. This is a six-part series covering all you will need from the beginning of the college application process to financing a college education. You do not want to miss this opportunity. If you haven't completed your online class or community service for graduation, you should do that as soon as possible. Remember, you must have both of these requirements met in order to get a parking decal and to participate in senior activities. If you need to complete your online class, you can find the directions for registering in your packet or on our website. You can print your community service log and upload it and the supporting materials under the School Counseling tab and then under Community Service Information. The SAT and ACT are both offered at Park Vista. While some universities have chosen to remain test optional for this admissions cycle, many schools, including the Florida Public Universities, are still requiring test scores. Seniors may also need a qualifying SAT or ACT score for Bright Futures, to meet the Concordance score for the FSA ELA, or for other scholarship consideration. Whatever the reason you are taking one or both of these tests, we encourage you to register as soon as possible. Test sites, including Park Vista, have a limited number of seats that they can offer. If you participate in the free and reduced lunch program, you are eligible for up to two free SAT and two free ACT tests, as well as an unlimited number of college application fee waivers at participating colleges and universities. You can find all of the details in your packet or on our website. There are a lot of options for students after they graduate from high school. One option is to attend a four-year university. So what does it take to get into one of Florida's state universities? We are awaiting an update to the SIS admissions matrix, but the currently released version, which is on our website, is still really helpful. You can use this information to help you as you decide which universities you might apply to. Generally speaking, seniors should apply to four to eight schools. That might not match your situation exactly, but that is a general average. You should plan on applying to REACH schools, good fit schools, and safety schools. A REACH school is a college or university that you may have difficulty getting into. 
This may be because your transcript and resume are not in line with the average student accepted at the school. It might also be due to the sheer acceptance rates. Ivy League schools are a reach for everyone. College admissions is a holistic process and you shouldn't assume that you won't be accepted purely based on previous admissions data. We encourage you to apply to your dream school. A good fit is one that on paper won't be very hard for you to get into, but you're not guaranteed admission. Your GPA and test scores should match those of the current incoming freshman class. Depending on your situation, you might apply for three or four good fit schools. A safety school is any college or university where you have a really great chance of being accepted based on the admissions data. In the same way that you shouldn't assume that there is no way that you will be accepted to a REACH school, you can never be sure whether any college or university will admit you. You should consider applying to one to three safety schools. For some Park Vista students, PBSC is their safety school and that is great. What you don't want is for May to roll around and you are without a plan. Here is the admissions matrix for the private colleges and universities of Florida. You can find both the public school matrix and the private school matrix on our website under college information. Another great resource in your packet and on the college information section of our website is our public universities cheat sheet. Here we break down for you what application you will need to fill out for each state university in Florida. We also give you details on submitting your grades to the schools and their deadlines. We strongly encourage you to submit your applications to four-year colleges and universities early and no later than October 31st. However, you should note that some private or out-of-state universities may have sooner deadlines. You may also need to submit your application sooner if you're applying for early action or early decision. If you are applying to a college that requires you to use the common application, you will find the links on this slide helpful. All of the Florida public four-year universities, except FIU and FAMU, accept the common application. As counselors, we're often asked for an unofficial transcript so students can look at the history of their grades, courses, and test scores. All of this information is available in your SIS portal. Here you see our SIS helpful hints, which will help you find all of the details of your academic record. Some colleges, universities, special programs, and scholarships will ask you for official transcripts. To order your official transcript, you need to go to parchment.com. You will be asked to set up an account and then we'll be able to see an updated transcript and send official transcripts. Another option for seniors following graduation is the military. Interested students will want to speak to a military recruiter. On this handout in your packet, we have the local recruiters for each branch along with their contact information. You also want to take the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, or ASVAB. The military sponsors the ASVAB each year at Park Vista for free. If you've ever heard someone say that they took a test in high school that suggested they become a doctor, lawyer, mechanic, they probably took the ASVAB. We will be offering the ASVAB on November 3rd and 4th, so be on the lookout for sign-up information. Many Park Vista students choose to further their education at a career or vocational college after graduation. These schools typically provide degree or certificate programs that provide practical training that focuses on a single job or career. As a school, they usually focus on a specific group of vocations that are their specialty. We've given you a list of many of the career and vocational colleges in our area, along with the career paths they focus on. Palm Beach State College has dozens of two and four year degrees, certificate programs, and professional diploma options. You can research all of their programs on their website. But what if you aren't sure what you wanna do when you grow up? There are a number of websites that can help you narrow down a career. Many of these sites will ask you questions about your interests and strengths. Then they will give you suggestions of possible careers along with information such as average pay, required post-secondary education, and what an average day looks like for someone in the field. 
If you require a letter of recommendation from your counselor for a college application, scholarship, or any other program, we are happy to help. Please visit pvchs.com, click on the School Counseling tab, and then click on the Class of 2022 tab for detailed directions for requesting a letter of recommendation from your school counselor. Please note that most of the state universities do not require a letter of recommendation. If the university does not require a letter, do not send one. You want your college to know that you can follow directions. To assist in writing an accurate and detailed letter of recommendation, please carefully fill out the counselor recommendation form on our website. The questionnaire is designed to help acquire a comprehensive picture of you and your accomplishments. If you have a resume, feel free to attach it. Leave any questions blank if you feel that you've already answered them somewhere else or you're unsure of the answer. However, remember that the more information that you give, the more detailed and complete the recommendation can be. Ultimately, your letter of recommendation will mirror the effort and work that you put into this questionnaire. As a courtesy, please submit this completed packet and request at least two weeks in advance of the recommendation due date. As a note, letters of recommendation for universities that require them will only be written once you have completed the student application. October 1st is an important day for seniors. This is the first day that you are able to apply for the Florida Bright Future Scholarship. Even if you qualify for a Bright Future Scholarship, you will not receive the award without having submitted an application. We encourage you to apply even if you do not currently qualify for a scholarship. You have until the end of your senior year to meet the requirements by earning the minimum weighted GPA, the SAT or ACT score, community service hours, and the required courses. But again, you can't earn the scholarship unless you apply. So make it a point to complete the application beginning on October 1st. October 1st is also the first day you can begin completing the FAFSA. The free application for federal student aid is the form you need to fill out to get any financial aid from the federal government, whether it's grants, work study, or low interest loans from the U.S. Department of Education. Lots of states and colleges also use this form to determine which students get financial aid and how much they'll get. The FAFSA asks for information about you and your family's finances, including tax returns, so you'll need your parents' help to complete it. If you and your parents would like more information about applying for financial aid, we have two events scheduled to help. On Monday, September 20th at 6 p.m., Palm Beach State College's Financial Aid Office will be presenting on financial aid and the FAFSA. They will return on October 18th at 6 p.m. to personally assist you complete the FAFSA in a computer lab. While these events are co-hosted by Park Vista and the financial aid experts at Palm Beach State, you do not need to be attending Palm Beach State to take advantage of these opportunities. Beyond Bright Futures and the FAFSA, students are encouraged to look for additional funds to support their education after high school. There are a number of search sites that you can use to help you find scholarship opportunities. In addition, the Park Vista School Counseling Department will once again be hosting Scholarship Thursdays. An updated scholarship bulletin will be released on the advertised dates containing the latest scholarships available. The scholarship bulletin will be distributed in the School Counseling Office, on our website, and through the School Counseling Weekly Reminder. Remember, you can't earn a scholarship if you don't apply. If you haven't started a resume yet, you should definitely start working on that now. Your resume will highlight your most significant achievements and experiences during your high school year. This will help you in applying to colleges or universities, scholarships or special programs, or a job. A well-done resume will enhance your application by providing a professional and organized appearance to your application package. Don't be afraid to market yourself. Use your resume to shine. Another application area that really gives you a chance to stand apart is your essay. We have included for you our top 10 tips for writing a good college essay. These tips can be used on university applications or scholarship applications as required. We encourage you to use good time management and give yourself plenty of time ahead of deadlines to produce the best essay possible. Finally in your packet, we have included our AP and ACE equivalency charts. These charts show you the college equivalent courses for any AP or ACE exams that you have passed in high school. 
These charts can be helpful for seniors as they make their post-secondary plans. A few final pieces of information. Parents, we invite you to attend our first live coffee talk of the season on September 9th at 8 a.m. in the Park Vista Media Center. We will be presenting on the State University System of Florida and the college application process. This presentation will also be available at pvchs.com under the School Counseling tab and then under Coffee Talks. Also coming up, seniors will be visiting with their school counselors beginning Monday, August 30th. We will meet with each senior individually to review outstanding graduation requirements and post-secondary plans. If you're a senior without one of these teachers, we will be meeting with you beginning September 9th. We hope that this presentation has been helpful. We ask that you be patient with your counselor. Remember, this is our first pandemic too. We're doing our very best to make sure you get everything that you need. We strongly suggest that you read our School Counseling Weekly Reminder that is emailed to you each Friday and to check our School Counseling website. It contains a wealth of information. We're looking forward to continuing to work with you and to assist you in achieving your goals. If you have any questions about any of this information, please reach out to your school counselor. We are available in the office before school, during lunch, and after school every day. You can also reach us by email. Good luck this year, seniors.